Hi, welcome to Millennia Business School, sponsored by Portman College. I'm Eun Chen, Asia's number one business coach. Today's topic is a follow-on to the simple questions that you ask your customers. It's called allowing you to have a series of consequence questions that you can ask your customers to allow them to be able to follow through and understand you within a framework. A lot of times customers ask non-relevant and relevant questions that's everywhere. You need to know when you ask your customers questions, they must be also an intro type of questions, a body type of questions, and a conclusion type of question. Structure it in a way where there's a head, there's a body, there's a conclusion. It's not just for presentation, but also questioning. It's an allow the customers to know in the beginning. I'm introducing you to questions. For example, what would you like to buy from me today? That will be an introduction question. A body question is zooming into a specific area that they've mentioned to you. By asking you, what would you like to buy from me today? If a customer answer you, I would like to buy a car from you today. That's it in the car showroom. And by asking them in the car showroom, then it goes straight down. Would you like to buy a Toyota Corolla? Or would you like to buy a Toyota Altis? Streaming in them in the body to know exactly what is the product that they want from you. And if they answer you, I'd like to buy a Toyota Corolla. Fantastic. And that's when you conclude them at the end as a closing question. Would you like to buy it now? And sign off on the sales order. That's called concluding question for you to get the sales closure in. So the next time when you start asking your customers question, do not just ask questions, but know how to intro them to a question, body, and conclude with a question to close the sale. So the next time, ask questions there are in consequence that make sense to your customers. I'm Andy Chen, Asia's number one business coach, signing off.